Hello everyone, you are on this side from Infosec Train. So here we are going to discuss about Malabar. So Malabar is a combination of two different words, malicious and software. And it refers to any software that is designed to harm or exploit computer system. So it can take many forms including your viruses, bombs, frozen, ransomware and adware. So, malware can cause a wide range of problems including your data theft, system crashes and unauthorized access to your personal information. One of the most common type of malware is the virus. So, virus is a type of malware that attaches itself to a legitimate program or file and then spreads to the other system. So, it can cause a wide range of problems including your data corruption, system crashes and unauthorized access to personal information. So, viruses are typically spread through email attachments, infected software downloads and infected USB drives. Another common type of malware is the bomb. So, a bomb is a type of malware that can replicate itself and spread to other systems without the need for a host program or file. Unlike viruses, worms do not need to attach themselves to a legitimate program or files in order to spread. They can cause a wide range of problems including your network congestion, system crisis and unauthorized access to personal information. Then we are having a Trojan. So a Trojan is a type of malware that disguises itself as legitimate software in order to trick users into downloading and installing. Once it is installed, a Trojan can give the attacker access to an infected computer allowing them to steal personal information, install additional malware or take control of the computer. Then we are having your ransomware. So ransomware is a type of malware that encrypts the file on the infected computer and demands a ransom in exchange for the decryption key. So ransomware can cause significant disruptions to an organization and can result in data loss if the ransom is not paid. So then we are having a adware. So adware is a type of malware that displays unwanted advertisements on the infected computer. So adware can slow down the computer that can track the user's browsing habits in order to display targeted advertisements. So prevention is the best defense against malware. Keeping your computer and software updated using anti-malware software and a firewall and avoiding suspicious emails and links and practicing safe browsing habits which can help to prevent malware infection. However, in case of an infection, it is crucial to act quickly to contain the infection and prevent it from spreading. This can include disconnecting the infected computer from the network, running a malware scan and restoring the computer from a clean backup. And it is also important to keep in mind that malware is constantly evolving and becoming sophisticated. So it is crucial to stay informed about the latest threats and to remain vigilant about security. In conclusion, malware is any software that is designed to harm or exploit computer system. It can take any forms including your virus, worms, frozen, ransomware and adware. And it can cause a wide range of problems including your data theft, system crashes and unauthorized access to personal information. And prevention is the best defense against the malware, keeping your computer and software updated, using anti-malware software and a firewall. And avoiding suspicious email and links and practicing safe browsing habits which can help to prevent malware infection. However, if an infection occurs, it is crucial to act quickly to contain the infection and prevent it from spreading. It is important to stay informed about the latest threats and to remain vigilant about the security. Thank you.